Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. Willow Nightingale versus Chris Statlander in a title eliminator. Man, I don't want to go back to the chat of all things, but... Uh, yes. Lenny says, a lot of over-celebrated mid in this country makes more money than it should. Doesn't mean it's a quality product. Just means people don't care what they spend their money on. What a disrespectful thing to say about people. Well... <laughs> wow. There are a Maybe lot Maybe of... they actually really like what they spend their money on. Well, are you telling me that people are so dumb that they just spend money on something they don't like? I don't know. There was a lot of Bitcoin bought by people who had no idea what was going on. Man, oh man. Hey, look. Everything is subjective. People I spend money on what I want to spend money on. I think most oh, people yeah. actually do. They spend money but, on what they feel is, is important to them and what they, they feel do, is They do, but is I do understand part of what Lenny is saying, even though the spirit behind it is somewhat suspect to me. But, yeah, people get caught up into something. When something's riding high, people will kind of blindly go with it or throw on blinders as they're going on with it until they get burned out or tired of it. But to fault WWE and to say that they are not putting on a good at the very least a good product if you want to call it mid i guess you can but there is a overwhelming majority of wwe fans that regardless of what any of us think about the bloodline storyline that was the thing that helped push them and there's a lot on that show to like whether it's sammy and braun whether you like the bloodline whether you like or, or hate the wyatt six they have things spread out right now where there seems to be something that you like they will try to get you with something on that show for how well what, goes, what lenny what lenny doesn't understand is that with every business your job is to serve your audience and to give your audience what they want to pay for that's the job of a business, and that's the job of a wrestling promotion. And so if you are giving the fans what they want, if you're giving them a reason to buy 52,000 tickets for a show this coming Saturday, if you're giving them a reason to set records for merchandise and everything else, you're doing your job. If you're not giving them a reason to do that, and significantly fewer people are paying and going to your shows and buying merchandise then you're not serving your audience the best that you can. And you need to think about ways of doing that better. And so WWE is the hottest it has been since the Attitude Era. And if you actually just look at how much money they're generating, they're the hottest they've ever been, of ever, of all time. No time in the history of this planet has any company ever been hotter than WWE right now because their audience wants something. And WWE is providing it to them. And it is a lesson that all wrestling companies should learn from. Because your job is to get your audience to spend money on your product. And the company doing that the best right now is WWE. And that goes for every business. I don't think I have to explain that to actual business owners because they know this. Non-business owners, if you ever want to run a business, that's your job. Find out how to... Serve your product to your customers in a way where they will pay for it. And pay for it, well, preferably with a lot of money. So, yeah. And knowing, and no, it's not record it. gates due to inflation. They've actually raised ticket prices really, 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 really high. And their audience will pay those prices yeah. for those tickets. That's business. That's, That's running it. a successful wrestling company. Everybody running a business would love to charge as much as possible and have their customers pay for it. Forget about that, Brian. It's a pre look, it is a premium event product. And I know I just used buzzwords there, but I don't know how else to say it. Concerts in this country, I mean, they have priced people out with festivals and all that sort of stuff. And. It's just one of those things. WWE is going along with it. Look at boxing prices. Look at the UFC prices at the Spear, let alone their everyday ones at the Garden or this place or that place. It's an insane amount of money. Hey, listen, I'm not a fan of UFC right now, but you're going to try and tell me that's not hot? They're going to do a $50 million gate for a show at the Sphere. $50 million. Have you seen the card? Dude. 
You couldn't, I don't say you couldn't have a worse card, but I mean, $50 million gate for that show at the Sphere. I like O'Malley, but O'Malley, I, you know, you would have never gotten me to say, you know, who believed that. You know, what fight would be a $50 million gate in Las Vegas? I wouldn't have figured Tron O'Malley would be in the main event, but this is just where they are right now. And you can't fault. To me, I get it. People want to take a shot at WWE or UFC, but it also takes a shot at a lot of the people that are performing really well right now. You're telling me that Braun Breaker hasn't been good. Same as a lot of these people have lived up to the role that they need to be playing in at a time where the company was ascending and getting hot again. And to, show, to say, to throw shade at all of it because you don't like certain aspects, I, I don't know. I, again, I, I just... I See, the other issue here, the other issue WWE here with right people now. explaining that WWE is not hot is they don't understand the difference between objective and subjective, Okay. This fellow here says, Brian, you're proving that people will pay for mid. Mid is subjective. You consider it mid, but their audience does not consider it mid at all. There are people that really love McDonald's hamburgers, and that's why they sell so Well, people always much. make that comparison to McDonald's. Like, well, you know, McDonald's doesn't make the best food, but it does the best. Uh, well, yeah, because what McDonald's is in the business of doing is offering fast food. And they offer fast food, and they serve their audience better than any fast food restaurant in the world. If you want to compare them to a steakhouse, well, obviously, that's two different businesses. One is trying to run a high-end steakhouse where you're going to pay $500 when you go with your family. The other is going to do fast food. There's a lot of fast food restaurants, and one of them is serving their audience better than any other fast food restaurant. And when it comes to wrestling, whether you think it is mid or it is not mid— the fact is, they're the most successful wrestling company because to their audience, they are not mid. To their audience, they're awesome. And they don't want to watch anything else. They don't want to watch AEW. They don't want to watch TNA. They don't want to watch New Japan. They want to watch and support WWE and their wrestlers and their characters. They don't think their characters are mid. They don't think their storylines are mid. So your job as a promoter is to... Make your audience believe that you're the best. Exactly. And no company has done that better than WWE. So that's the story. Hey, if you love this clip, have I got a deal for you. WrestlingObserver.com. Do you have a commute? Do you work out at the gym? Do you like listening to audio on your headphones or your earbuds or whatever the kids use today? Well, WrestlingObserver.com will give you all the audio you'll ever need in your life. Over 15,000 audio shows. Every audio show that we have ever done, dating back to 2005, is available for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com. Every time a new show comes out, you can podcast it directly to your phone. If you have a commute, as noted, if you go to the gym, if you like to lift weights and listen to Granny review soap operas, well, WrestlingObserver.com gets you full access to all of these shows and all of these archives. You can go back and listen to TNA reviews from 2010. You can go back and listen to reviews of every WWE pay-per-view, every big story that's ever happened in wrestling. You can get access to that at WrestlingObserver.com. Plus, full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter every week. 40,000 words of news and information in pro wrestling. Why get all your scoops off Reddit, which aren't even accurate most of the time? Go right to the source, the Wrestling Observer newsletter. You also get Observer archives dating back to 1990. So check it out today. Thousands of issues of the Wrestling Observer newsletter. Tens of thousands of hours of audio. All for $12.99 per month or as low as $9.99 if you sign up for a year. You'll never, you'll never run out of audio if you subscribe to WrestlingObserver.com. So head up there, check it out today, and I'll talk to you again after a while.